Hello, welcome. We have one more example to cover in the trends and categorical data on Khan Academy. And this one, this is from the last video. This one problem has a lot to it. So I'm going to scroll up so you can pause it and read it. And then I'm going to scroll down so you can pause it and look at that. All right. So this is what the problem looks like. You might want to take a moment and try it on your own. All right. So to my sadness, I could not get away in these problems but with not reading the problem. I usually enjoy word problems where I can skip the word problem. Uh, I don't know why. I just do. So the first thing is, I can for a moment skip this part, but then I'm going to read this. So all of these problems, or most of them, at least, have, at least most of them, have some kind of statement about the relative frequency table and tells you something about it. So in this case, there are 42 extreme computer users. All right. So and then they ask us, OK, and here's the related question. So this little sentence will always give you information about the related question. So these two things, this and this, are connected. So it says there are 42 extreme computer users in the study. And they want to know how many people in the study got five or few hours of sleep. OK. So this table here is very hard to look at. And that's OK, because there's a lot of information here. So they just told us something. They just told us there are 42, let's go back up, 42 extreme computer users in total. OK. So here are my extreme computer users. And we know that there are, I'm going to write this down, 42 of them in total. And then I look over here, and it says, OK, well, there's no column percentage here, because this is not a column calculation. This is a row calculation. And it tells you that um, the the of course the row itself is at 100% because that's everything in the row but this percent is going to be valuable to us 35.1 what does that mean well that means that everything in this row at a, as a total percentage of everybody well in the row itself it's 100% because it's just what percent of extreme computer users are extreme computer users well 100% they're all extreme computer users but here is saying what percent of all the computer users are extreme computer users. What percent of all of them? So that means that if you take 35.1%, 0.351 of some amount times x, we don't know what it is, you would get 42 people. Or you can say 42 out of some amount is equal to 35.1 out of 100 if you want to solve a proportion, right? 42 extreme users out of some amount of computer users is equal to 35.1 out of 100. Whatever works for you. There, there are other ways to solve it as well. Here I'm going to say x equals 42 divided by divided by 0 0.351. And that's going to give us the number of computer users, right? So here we get 120, I believe. Let me just double check right now with you. So it's 42 divided by 0.351. So it's about 120. That is the, that's where the estimation comes through. We're rounding whole number here, whole number to whole numbers here, and they actually say that. Now, don't put 120 here. You're not done. Read the question, right? This is why you got to read. How many people in this study got five or few hours of sleep? So now we move on. Five or few is right here. And what do we know? That out of all the people, 33.3% of them got five or fewer. So. Let's find out what that is. 33.3%, 0.333 times 120 will tell you how many people got five or fewer hours of sleep. So 0.333 times 120, 39.96. So we're going to say 40 people because it's now, they want us to round to the nearest whole number. So OK. Now we're going to put 40 here. Yay. Now a lot of work and now we want to answer with the follow-up here we want to answer um, about the evidence in this table right what is true about our data here and they want us to check off all that apply so does the table show evidence of an association okay association between extreme computer use and getting five or fewer hours of sleep so First, I found that in these questions, you should think, what would you expect to find? 
these questions aren't even though they're made up they seem to make sense so what would you think happens here well if you have extreme computer usage you're probably going to get less sleep because you're probably staying up late playing games doing maybe making music videos who knows what you're doing right you're doing all kinds of fun stuff and the computer keeps you up late so you would expect a person who uses a computer a lot to get the least amount of sleep probably if anything right so let's look to our table to see what's going on so here this is really what we're trying to focus on this is the extreme computer users and who got five or fewer hours of sleep so 47.6 percent of extreme computer users got five or fewer hours of sleep i know that because that's the row number right this tells me in the row of extremes so out of extreme computer users almost half of them got five or fewer hours of sleep and that's remarkable because for moderate users it's 37 and minimal users it's only 16 percent so that's pretty high so i'm thinking okay that supports one my hypothesis that yes extreme computer users get little sleep so now i'm looking for yeses look at the first choice it says yes because 47.6 percent of extreme computer users get five or fewer hours of sleep all right we just said that and only 33.3 percent of all people get five or fewer hours okay let's look at that so five or fewer hours all together as a percent of the total is 33.3 percent so that's a nice contrast right and what i find in these questions is, is that you're probably going to pick choices unless they're complete nonsense that just tell you true things so right here only 33 percent of all users in this survey get five or a few hours but it's almost 14 points higher uh 14 percentage points higher in the extreme category that seems significant to me so i'm going to select that and they're not asking you to measure like well uh, what if it was 13 percentage points? Is that still significant? What if it was 12 or 11 or 10? That's not what we're going for here. They're going to give you extreme cases. We're not testing the significance of the distance of those percentages. If you see a noticeable difference, that's a subjective word, of course, noticeable, but it'll be somewhat obvious. It'll probably be at least over, I would say, five percentage points apart. Let's look at it. I'm, gonna, I'm not even going to read this one uh, because I don't, I don't think it applies. It's a, a no, so I'm going to cross out my nose. So now I've got only two left to read, and that seems like a relief. Okay, so this says yes, because 50% of people who get five or a few hours are extreme computer users. All right, let's see. So out of the five or fewer, this is a little bit trickier, right? Um, we're now looking at the column. So here, we've got our column percentage. 50%, half of all the people getting five or fewer, that's amazing, right? Hours of sleep. Are extreme computer users whereas it's 37 percent i'll use yellow again of the moderate users and 17.5 percent think about how these numbers are different 47.6 that's out of all the extreme users in the row column per percent is all the percentage of extreme users who fit in the five or fewer category so so far it's a true statement so it says yes because 50 percent of people who get five or few hours or fewer hours are extreme computer users and only 35.1% of all people are extreme computer users. Let's see if that's true. If I look at my row here, okay, yes, 35.1% of the total users are extreme users. So that seems significant. There, in other words, they are smaller. They only represent a less than, excuse me, about a third of the total, but they represent a half of people who uh, get five or less hours of sleep. So you can see that extreme there, right? That's a, that's a really large percentage difference. One more. Yes, because 35.1% of people are extreme computer users. Okay, there it is. And 29.1% of people are moderate. So this is what I'm talking about. See, even though it's true that 29.1% of moderate computer users, 29% of people are moderate computer users, it does not test the association that we're dealing with. The association is between extreme computer usage and getting five or a few hours of sleep. This compares the number of people who are extreme computer, the percentage of people who are extreme computer users with the percentage of people who are moderate computer users. It makes no mention of the hours of sleep. So it's not related to our problem. Oops, and we cr cross it out. So if you have a problem 
on this section. I found it tricky on Khan Academy. Please let me know and I'll help you out with it. Thank you.